So, back when I was still a high school student, and parties weren't a breeding ground for one of the four horsemen of the apocalypse, the clinic my dad worked at would have a Christmas party each year. His boss would order a massive amount of food, one of the doctors would use their house as a party venue, and everyone would come bearing gifts and have a grand old time. While most people love parties, I despise having to attend these ones. I was only a kid, and most of the party goers were adults who had an uncomfortable amount of interest in what I did, so I typically avoided them. There were other kids as well, but they didn't talk with me, so for most of these parties, the only person I would ever interact with was my sister. But she had left for college, so I was on my own for this one. So the party starts and I'm sitting in the corner of the living room, where most of the guests are gathered. I have my plate of food in my lap, my phone in my hand, and I'm just scrolling through my messages. Eventually, my dad's boss, whom we'll call Boss, decided that we should begin the White Elephant, and assigned me the job of creating the numbered slips for the game. For those of you who don't know, a White Elephant is a party event where every participant brings a gift. Everyone then sits in a circle like it's kindergarten, and take turns choosing gifts from the pile or stealing gifts that have already been chosen. Now, the order is usually determined by the one who gave the gift that was opened, but since the participants of this party are typically varying degrees of drunk, the system wasn't going to work, hence why the numbered slips were used instead. Now, Boss could have just created the numbered slips herself, but since I was the only one there that was an adult, she decided to dump that task onto me. So I secluded myself into the host's office, writing the numbered slips when an idea came to me. Instead of writing, you know, numbers on the slips, I could write something else on the slips to determine the order. After a long and hard decision, by which I mean a 3 second epiphany, I decided to label each slip with a chemical symbol from the periodic table of elements. In my head, I thought that this was funny, and that all of the people at the party would have immediately understood what I did, since they were all doctors. They had taken chemistry in college. So I put all the slips into a bag, and had everyone draw them. My dad, who wasn't participating, glanced into the hat, saw the slips, and immediately realized what I had done. Boss drew B, or Boron, and didn't immediately understand what I had done. She thought I had written letters, but there were some people confused as to why there was like an NE, or an HE, or an LI on their slips. Everyone was confused, except for one other doctor, but he chose to remain silent and watch the chaos unfurl. So everyone was mad at Boss because they were all confused about the slips, trying to grasp what all of these weird fangled letters meant. Boss was mad at me because my little joke pretty much destroyed any semblance of authority she had. See, I didn't know this, but at the time, Boss was having trouble exercising authority over the other doctors, given that they kind of resented her for giving herself a lighter workload than them. And now, I had just lit that fuse of a smoldering landmine and doused it in all of the expensive alcohol only a bunch of drunken doctors at a party would drink. Everyone was yelling at each other, the party was completely ruined, and my parents decided that this was the moment that we should probably leave. I was banned from attending any future Christmas parties, the white elephant became a relic of past Christmas parties, and Boss would have even more trouble leading the clinic. I think she also badmouthed me to everyone in the town because I haven't been invited to any other Christmas parties ever since. However, in spite of the feral fuster club that was that party, there was one winner. Remember how I said that a different doctor would have to use their house as the party venue every year? Well, my dad had been shirking that responsibility because he hates having guests over at the house. Now, he doesn't have to worry about having to host any parties ever, because you can't ban a person from a party and host it where they live at the same time. 